We're live. Hi. Hi. I can't see myself today. No, you can't see yourself. But okay. hopefully we are live. We're work. I got I got thumbs up. We're on TV. Yeah. All right. I got all the buttons plugged in. <laughs> buttons hit and button and things plugged in. All by in. yourself. You don't even have any helpers. I know. I lost Bryson. He got a new homeroom, and so Who's he, he got switched around. I know. But that's we miss you, Bryson. <laughs> To be able to flip our switches and do all of our things for us but that's okay um we've got a lot of stuff to cover today we're not going to get through it all but we're going to get through the important stuff for this morning i'm mike i'm aaron and let's get to it Woo yeah uh not to jinx it but uh, i think we're anticipating a full week of school ew what i'm just hey. kidding <laughs> i am sick of sitting at home <laughs> Well, I don't sit at home. I get out. Well, we we the teachers we all come in. They still we have to come in two hours late and work. But you know what I'm saying. I'm just we haven't produced any content in right. two months. Hardly we any content. We need to nourish our brains. We need to do stuff. I'm me creatively. I just need to create content and put it out there and do all kinds of stuff. So hopefully. There's no, in fact, they even said on the news, uh, I wish we had Dave here for this, but they said 60 degree weather by a Thursday, I think. Yeah, crazy wow. spring-like weather. <laughs> It'll be nice and warm. All the snow will melt. Although that might bring high water. I, don't, <laughs> I think I just jinxed myself. Oh, well. Uh, I know a lot of you are curious about what days we're making up because of all the school closings over the last few weeks. Even with today being originally scheduled an ISE day, we will be updating those dates on our school webpage, LincolnCountyPanthers.net. You know, you don't actually have to read that. Well, I hadn't actually looked at that at all. Oh, she she didn't prepare. (laughs) But yeah, we're going to update all the dates on on the school website as soon as I got those in this morning. I haven't had a chance to yet, but... Hopefully before too long those days will be put on the calendar. A lot of days we don't have to make up. But we have to make up all the ISC days that we had originally scheduled. Like today. So that's why we're here. Uh, Questions come up about the report cards. Do you want to tell them or shall I? Grading period ends next Friday. Next Friday the 28th. At the end of the month the grading period is over with. So everyone needs to start working really hard. Yep. And uh, our report cards will go out on the 10th. Hopefully, at least on the... We just got a report card. I know. You just got your report card. You're just going to get another one. They have to take those dates and rearrange this calendar because we missed so much and try to make everything fit in. And that's the best of what they could do. So it's going to be busy. We're all going to be busy for the next few weeks. Um, But also, you know who else is going to be busy? The the Panthers, the basketball team. We have games every day this week except for Thursday. Nice segue, by the way. (laughs) Nice nice catch on that. (laughs) We are busy, busy, busy. Home game every night. Every night except for Thursday. Everyone better be there. Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. Yeah, it's going to be busy. And Plumlee still has shirts for sale, $10. They get you into all the home games for free. And we really want the pep club to start coming and Um, making a scene. Hello, we're doing the news. See, this is why I want them to turn the TVs on in the office. Because we are doing the news, and it'd be awesome if somebody would tell them that we are doing the news and they are. We're doing the news! I know. Please watch the news in the office. Anyway, uh, so if you were listening to her, you're listening to us, basically what she said, those numbers for FFA week need to be turned in to who? Miss Snyder. Miss Snyder, ASAP. Uh, which we haven't got to that yet, but uh, we were going to go through basketball. Uh, the games this week, they play... Chapmanville, Tulsa, Sissonville, and then the MSAC this week. Yep, yep. Uh, if you were a pep club, well, you already said that. So you skipped ahead. Pep club members, $10 Michaela shirts. Michaela just tweeted at you. I know, she did. I want to see what she said. Okay. You can read it later. Uh, <laughs> speaking of FFA, you've heard the announcements all day. This is FFA week. We would have promoted this a lot more, but we didn't have a whole lot of school last week. Uh, we were out Thursday and Friday, um, two days of which we don't have to make up. But uh, there are posters up. This week we're having a spirit week for FFA. Uh, today is Western wear. Yes, I'm wearing uh, boots. I don't think that counts. Those aren't Western boots either way. Uh <laughs> I, I personally don't have any Western apparel. Uh, I think the closest thing I came to it was a button-up shirt. And that's, that counts that's, for something. Nah, it's not even. Like, I would have, like, like a button-down, like, rhinestones or something weird Rhinestone. with some plaid. 
I'll take some of your off there and put them okay. on here. Um, but anyway, so they've got dress up. We got dress up days every day this week. They're doing a canned food drive, so you can get, bring in canned food. And all this stuff is going toward the Panther Cup, by the way. Which and we, seniors, we need points. Yeah, you do. Because right here it is. This, this is, could be ours. This is a huge. I mean, I built this in my garage. Let me pick this up. It's not finished yet. Uh, we're working on it. it need, we still need to get a plaque for it, a little bit of touch up. Um, but this is the Panther Cup. It's right here. We'll sit here for a little bit. Uh, you guys are earning points. Speaking of your points, Miss Polly has updated the display in the main hallway. So if you want to know where your points are and how you got them, like for West Test scores and all the other fun stuff, they're listed down or there. Or the hallway. Or the hallway. Yeah, it tells you how, how what points you got for what and why your class is where you're at. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, that's one of the things that uh, put the juniors in. What place are the juniors in? Uh, I don't know. I might have to go look. What place? I think they're in first. They're in first place. Mm -hmm. So if you want to see how they got to first place in their uh, championship reign so far, uh, that's where you go to look. It doesn't matter because we're going to, underdog going to just like swoop in. Underdog will be at the freshmen's oh. came in. That would be the underdog in happen. that situation. But freshmen, hey, you know what? They're freshmen. They are working at it. We're creeping. They're getting better. No, they aren't. Yes, they are. They are freshmen. You got to have faith in the freshmen because one day they will be seniors. Most of them anyway. All right. Um, the rest of the week this week, Tuesday. Tomorrow is? Twin day. Twin day. Get a buddy. Wear a matching outfit. Wednesday is sports day. I wear red socks that day. Red socks? We go red socks. I'm a Reds fan. I like the Reds too, though. They're my second favorite. You're a little bipolar. <laughs> Thursday, Nerd Day. I don't know if I should be offended by that. And Friday will be Blue and Gold Day. Blue and Gold. Basically, because, you know, FFA it's FFA colors. colors, not for WVU. No, not for WVU. I'm a herd fan. Here we go. Um, can food drive. Okay. Don't forget to get those cans in. Hey, Curious yours. about the updates on the scores. That's it. Now, this is something really cool to announce. Hey, uh, I want to announce this. Go ahead. You read it. Next year, students have the opportunity to earn an hour-long lunch based on their West Test scores. That's right. So as an incentive for doing well in the West Test, anyone who gets mastery, let me double check that. Yeah, mastery or above will get an hour-long lunch for every Friday of the night. Why didn't nine we weeks. do it this year? And we have six weeks. We're going on. Anyway, so let's let's break this up for for 18 weeks. So like, if you get mastery in two of the four sections, mm -hmm. right? For 18 weeks, you get an hour long lunch on Friday. Cool. That's awesome. You know, um, and that's going to be a, an incentive to get everybody to get their grades up or just to try really hard on the West Test this year because I, we can do it. You guys can do it. It's not impossible. I know we've had some snow days and things, but you guys can do really well with this. Um, on the flip side of that, they're also have a, I, what I think is probably a little bit better of an opportunity. It's not so much for the hour lunch, but if you get below mastery on. Do you get in trouble? No, no, you don't. But if you get below mastery on um, any of the sections, what you're going to do, like say for English, if you get below mastery in English for nine weeks, all right? For every section you get uh, below in, you're going to spend nine weeks doing like, um, what's the word? That enrichment. She, enrichment. Enrichment. I would have course. had to do enrichment this year. Yeah. Never no, no. That's not knowledge. a bad thing. Don't think of it as a bad thing. It's a good thing because it helps you get those study skills, get those tests, and all this stuff that you need for the West Test. This is a good thing. All right? So you're going to get enrichment on those Fridays uh, for a half hour. So it's not going to be bad. See, that doesn't make sense because what if you get a mastery and you get a below mastery? Because then, then you get your hour lunch or do you get your 30 minutes of enrichment? It's either one. You just get a pick? No, what it is is, okay, good question. There not, are four nine weeks, four sections, right? Okay, yeah. You get you get mastery in English. Guess what? Oh, okay. First I'm nine weeks, you okay. get the hour long lunch. Got it. Or either that or I would, I would, to be honest with you, I would rather take the enrichment first. Or, you know what, maybe no. Enrichment later in the year, because that way it's closer to test time. It'll do you better. Uh, I, I, maybe so. I don't know. I'm not sure exactly how that one's going to work. It's not really listed on here, whether you get the hour-long lunch first or whatever later. But either way. Uh, because West Test is going to be a big thing. Writing assessment. 
part for West Test. That's the very, okay, I got Miss Lane is standing in the window with a sign about West Test, and it's the very next thing on the list, which is? The writing assessment is in March, and it's 40% of your English score on the West Test. Yeah, 40%. That's a big deal. So we want to make sure that's, that's, when's March? When is March? Next month. Next month. It's next month. So it's coming up pretty quick. So we want to make sure Tell that, you know, the writing assessment stuff is taken care of. You guys are going to do excellent on that. There are people available for study skills. We have after school program here at the school. Yes, you ever, we do. You ever done after school? No, I have cheerleading practice. You have cheerleading practice. But they, they offer after school from four to six. Uh, the activity bus runs at six. They, you know, they have food. And there are several people down here. Um, Miss Elkins is down here, Mr. Eskew. Um, I'm usually in here if, they, if anybody needs like techie type questions. Usually they don't, but if they do, we're here. Um, there's a lot of other stuff going on, but you know what? We've taken up enough of your time today. Uh, check us out. We're gonna post this video later. Check out the loop, the channel 39. It's not running right now. Oh. Check out the channel 39 loop. There's gonna be some more scholarship information that's being posted to that. I need to get on my scholarship game. Yeah, you do. Uh, time's running out, my dear. Uh, oh, there's also a couple writing contests where you can do. There's a video contest uh, where you can win $500. It's pretty cool. Uh, but check the loop. All that information will be on there. Um, and thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. Michaela texted me during uh, the show. I know. And you know we're still on. Right? She did not text me. I do not have my cell phone during the school day. Oh. Ooh, we'll talk about cell phone policy next week. We can talk about it now. No. What's a cell phone policy? We might get more cell phones. <laughs> Don't forget to check us out on our YouTube page and tweet at us at FCHS Pride. And use your cell phone during school day. That's the cleanest day. <laughs>